Welcome back. Many of you are talking about Vice President Kamala Harris's running mate. That announcement made today. Minnesota Governor Tim Walls will be joining her on the presidential ticket. Joining us right now is Professor Dr. Joseph Campbell from American University with more on what this means for the campaign and, of course, for Decision 2024. Uh, Dr. Campbell, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. All right, let's talk about our first question here. The selection of Governor Walls, smart move or mistake? No, I think it's a very smart move by Kamala Harris. It's a very compatible selection intellectually, and uh, uh, the governor brings no real risk to the ticket. In fact, in some respects, it's a very safe choice because Minnesota is reliably Democratic in presidential elections. It's been since 1972, 52 years ago, when Richard Nixon won in a landslide that Minnesota last went for a Republican candidate. So it's a it's a safe choice in that regard. And I'm not so sure how this selection is going to alter the electoral map, if at all. Mm. Yeah, so that, that brings up a really interesting question. So what does the selection of walls tell you about the sort of voter that the Harris campaign is currently after? I think that they're looking for uh, to ensure that the progressive base of the Democratic Party is is, uh, is is in line with their selections. And I think that's very much the case here. If uh, Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, had been the selection as vice presidential candidate, then it would have been a little more controversial, I believe, given Shapiro's views on the Middle East, Israel, and Palestinians. So how much weight does a running mate carry in a presidential election? I mean, um, could this potentially be a game changer for Harris? You know, probably not. Presidential, vice presidential picks seldom really make a whole lot of difference to the top of the ticket or the ticket's overall chances in November. And uh, more often than not, a um, vice presidential selection can be a weight on the ticket, can be dragging down the ticket. And I'm thinking of um, um, uh, in 2008, uh, John McCain selected uh, the governor of Alaska and uh, she did not really add a whole lot to the ticket in, in, the, in the Republican ticket in that race in 2008. And uh, Sarah Palin was her name. And then in uh, 1972, even further back, uh, George McGovern selected um, uh, his president, his vice presidential candidate was, was someone who uh, had some mental health problems and had to drop off of the ticket. And uh, that really did not help the Democrats in 1972, which ended up in a Nixon landslide. So more often than not, the, the the selections of a vice presidential candidate are are really don't don't bring a whole lot of uh, boost to the ticket, at least in terms of the polling, at least in terms of the um, uh, of the unity of the ticket. Well, polling certain suggesting right now that the Harris Walls now campaign certainly in a good position, uh, given where uh, we had uh, President Joe Biden just a few weeks ago uh, before his announcement. Where do you see the campaign going from here? Where should they focus? You're quite right. The The campaign, the polling has really narrowed since uh, Kamala Harris emerged as the as the presumptive and now the certain Democratic Party nominee for president. And it's uh, it's hard to see where it goes from here because the, the country is so divided. The electorate is so polarized. There are many, many people who just can't wait to vote for Donald Trump. And there are many, many people who can't wait to vote against Donald Trump. So I think we're going to be looking at a very close election. And it's 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 probably going to be up and down in the polls uh, for, for a few more weeks, at least. And we may see a very, very tight polling race uh, up until the end of October, early November. Of course, we'll be watching it all. We have 91 days to go, so we'll be in this for the long haul. Uh, Dr. Campbell, thank you so much for your time today, sir. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure.